to Vanessa's van life journey. I am Vanessa and I live in a van and her name is Treasure. If you're wondering what I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on my hammock. Y'all can't see. Y'all can't see my hammock. I don't know if I put y'all down farther. Let me see. 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 I can't make this thing public. It be taking so long for people to come in here. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Nutty Buddy Nation. How are you guys doing today? Y'all know I love state parks. State parks do cost money, but state parks are good for new van lifers, new nomad enthusiasts, uh, people who just want, who live in a home and they just want to get out and start camping and giving their children that experience state parks are perfect for that like i love 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 state parks everybody should get them a state park pass i love it 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 y'all see my hair y'all see my hair girl my hair grew my hair grew overnight, y'all. <laughs> hey there, Miss Amber. How are you doing? I'm just here to do some nomad talking. I am. Can y'all see me? I'm putting y'all further away because I'm swinging in my hammock. And I don't want to hit the thing. I'm swinging in my hammock. How are you guys doing today? I am in uh, a place that I love to be, and that is the great outdoors. That's a place where I have a hammock. I want to try to sleep in my hammock one night, but I don't have the kind of hammock that you could put the it feel like it's about to rain, y'all. I don't have a kind of hammock that has the net over it. I have a net uh, that I've never used. And, yeah. Uh, the phone is too far away. I ain't going to be able to see y'all comments. I saw you taking a nap in your hammock made me want to take a nap did you go take one hey miss jamila miss amber say wonderful how about you love and appreciate you very much you've inspired me many times over currently looking into starting van life you're so welcome miss amber girl you could just start going to state parks i'm here to give y'all some more ideas if you have a vehicle, do you have any kind of vehicle right now? And are you going to do van life solo? Do you have any kids? Are you married? Hey, Miss Carols. Have you ever thought about buying land? Eventually, I would love to buy some land. Uh, eventually in the near future. Anybody got some land out there they want to give me, girl? I'll take it. Y'all got some land out there y'all want to give me? Yes, ma'am. I will take it. Oh, this is so peaceful. 
So I'm here to talk about state parks. I'm always gonna talk about state parks. I'm always gonna promote state parks. I love state parks. Uh, and I think state parks are a easy way for nomads to get their feet. I mean, for people who want to do van life, it's an easy way for you to get your feet wet. So let me see. Uh, the weather looks gorgeous there. It's not too cold. It's not, it hasn't been sun today. It's been overcast all day. I forgot to see if uh, I just went somewhere and I forgot to get some off. I forgot to get some off. So y'all gonna be seeing me doing this and I might put my blanket on, ooh, on me because it got bugs flying around. Uh, state parks are clean have all types of things like bathrooms and showers. So, Miss Amber, did you hear my question? Do you have some kind of vehicle now? Anybody in here does van life currently and anybody in here wants to do van life? Complete sentence, let me know if you do van life currently and let me know if you want to do van life in a complete sentence. Yeah, I want to show y'all that is on my car. Since I've been here, he been on my car. This thing is not turning around. I don't know why. I don't know why it won't let you turn around. What is going on? Yes, I have a car. I might trade it in for a van if I can. LOL. You have a car. Start with what you got. Don't trade it in. Start with what you got. But right now, just get your feet wet. Just get you a, a tent. Get you a mattress to put in the back of your uh, car. And start going to state parks on a weekend or during the week, whatever your off day is, start going to state parks, get you a state park pass. Every state has a state park. So get you a state park pass and just go camping on the weekends, on holidays, during the week. I love coming to state parks during the week because nobody else is here. Like nobody else is here. I'm here all by myself. Here by myself, there's nobody else. So I love, love, love coming to state parks. I think state parks are perfect for people who are just getting their feet wet. Uh, it'll teach you how to camp like in a safe, secure area for you scary cats out there. Like you shouldn't be that scared in a state park uh, because everybody has their own spot. Everybody in here paid to be here. And uh, usually they are not gonna have no animals and no creatures that's gonna be coming out of the woodworks attacking you unless otherwise noted let me see i was trying to see if that bird is still over there hey miss davina oh that's a wonderful idea thank you vanessa graduation is august so then i have time to do just that but i wouldn't i wouldn't trade my vehicle in i would just start camping in my vehicle. especially if you have a vehicle that's paid off right now don't go into debt to start van life start with what you have a lot of people like smaller vehicles because you can park in parking lots and you could fit in parking garages and 
nobody will know you're in there. And I think that's why a lot of people like smaller vehicles because they could fit in parking garages, free parking garages that businesses open 24 hours a day, like in Vegas in the casino. You could fit in a free, you could fit in a free parking garage and be in your vehicle and nobody will know you there. Thumbs up the live stream. Hey, Miss Kimberly, my 21 year old daughter and I want to take a year and travel the country together. We're trying to decide if we want to buy a pop up to pull with our pickup or a cargo van or a minivan. That's a lot of decisions. Decisions, 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 decisions. You just got to weigh your options. Figure out what y'all want to do, how y'all want to do it. I mean, if you're only going to do it for a year, what kind of vehicle you have now? Can y'all make it and survive in the vehicle that you have now? I think it's going to rain when it, when it starts to rain, y'all. I'm going to have to take my hammock down anybody have any questions about state parks I want to do van life part time and travel in my Dodge Dakota truck you could do it some of the trucks that I seen at the auction that had the cab in the back, like that would be perfect for a bed, especially somebody that's not that tall. That would be perfect for a bed. Just put your bed back there and go to sleep, child. Hey, Miss uh, Trina. Love your curls. Thank you. One of my subscribers sent me this wig girl my hair just grew overnight and y'all see my little cute earrings that i got from timu that are like uh, a lot of the branded stuff that you see people wearing i don't know if you could tell the difference but baby it's it's cute it's giving cute it's giving cute darling and my little uh green short outfit that I bought from Timu. It's feeling like it's gonna rain. I haven't done anything today except take a nap in my hammock, which was lovely, which was lovely. Take a nap in my hammock and uh, Um, film a couple of videos, edit a couple of videos. But other than that, I haven't done anything. But tomorrow, I don't know what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. Tomorrow, I plan on doing something. Yes, it is giving cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you again to the subscriber that sent me my hair. <laughs> I used to have uh, another kind of wig like this with a band on it that I bought from the thrift store. Everybody would think it was my hair. Like I had that wig for years and it had a little purple in it. It had a little purple in it, like black and purple and, or black and like a little black and blondish or some kind of streaks, a little bit of touch of color in it. I wore that wig for years and years and years. And then one day I wore it out so bad 
I went back to the uh, uh, beauty supply and you know buying another one. Sometimes when you find something that you like, you need to get more than one of it. Uh, and I haven't seen that kind of wig on at other beauty supplies. I probably have to go back. To the same side of town. I probably have to go back to the same side. I don't know why I can't turn my camera around for y'all. What's, what's going on with YouTube? Okay, y'all. I'm here to talk about uh, starting to go on camping in your vehicle at state parks anybody got any questions about camping at state parks any fears any concerns it's just so tranquil where you are yes girl it's so tranquil i can i can sit right and talk to y'all <laughs> here and lay down and talk to y'all i have a quick question it has nothing to do with van life i make jewelry and would love to send you something do you have pierced earrings pierced ears yes i do miss carol my p.o box is in the description box below uh do you feel safe traveling alone? Absolutely, positively. I am not a scary person. Uh, I pretty much been alone my whole life. Um, uh, I'm alone. I'm a loner. I could be around people. Uh, so. It doesn't bother me to be alone. I prefer to be alone than to be in drama and mess. So my preference is to be alone if I'm going to be around confusion. So yeah, I, I, I'd rather be alone, child. But yeah, I feel safe uh, traveling alone you could always travel in the daytime don't travel at night uh find you a safe place to sleep and park at night try to park in a these mosquitoes y'all try to park in a uh safe place do you prefer small or large earrings both it depends on what you wear and like today i have on small earrings it depends on what you're wearing and uh, what it match with. So it all depends. So yeah, I feel safe. I've been doing van life in June. It's gonna be three years, three years. Does time fly when you have fun? Has anyone ever tried to break in? Yes, I've had somebody try to break into the van while I was in it. I have a story time on that on the channel. If y'all want to watch uh, my playlist for new subscribers, a lot of uh, the questions and the situations you're asking about I made videos about those things. So if you want to, um, I told a story time on how they broke in, tried to break into my van while I was in it, child. Uh, do you ever travel with caravans? I don't travel with caravans, but uh, I do. Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline have, and Miss Edna have come out to camp with me. And Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline, we will be 
traveling together more this year. So I don't travel with caravans that are already organized. Uh, I haven't reached out to any caravans and I just don't feel like it. Like it's too many personalities for me. <laughs> I'd rather travel with a person that I've met that I know that I can get along with, that they know me instead of trying to get to know some people and trying to get to know people with different personalities. And it's, that's not my thing, y'all. That's not my thing. So I could go around people casually, but just to get to know a whole group of people at one time and hope that you get along with all of them because you want to travel with them that's not my thing. I will check them out. Thanks. I am thinking about traveling, but worry about the safety factor. You not going to uh, get comfortable traveling until you start traveling. And you're not going to learn all the do's and don'ts of traveling and being safe until you start. That's why I'm saying if y'all start at a state park, then you can get your feet wet. Then you can learn how to pack your van, how to pack for what you, the areas you're going to, because every area you, you go to, you're going to need something different. Like when I am in Nevada, girl, I don't need no hammock. Where I'm going to put it? They ain't got no trees. <laughs> and that's one thing that I do not like about Arizona and uh, Nevada. I can't pull my hammock out. So that make me just want to stay up in Texas. Hammock, humidity, and water. I like those three things about Texas. A lot of people don't like the humidity. I love it. I grew up here, so it don't bother me. Hey there, Daisy. This is great advice. Anybody got any more questions about van life or uh, camping at a state park? Y'all, I'm being eaten up by bugs. They just flying around, they thick. And not all of them are the biting kind. I think something that bit me. Girl, let me put my blanket on. Man, cause these bugs is getting on my nerves, I hope. Eh, that's a mosquito. Oh, stop. Oh, Lord. I wanna sleep in my hammock. Do state parks limit how often you can stay? Girl, you pay. <laughs> you pay for however often you want to stay. You have to thank you for the super chat, Forest. I mean, Force, uh, Air Force. You pay for how long you want to stay, but you're not going to always be able to unless you book ahead of time you might not find uh availability to stay as long as you want to stay like if i want to stay a week right now they probably wouldn't have a spot for me to stay a whole week that's why i like coming during the week because they usually gonna always have a spot during the week unless it's a holiday amber say has any park staff member ever giving you beef. Nope. Mm -mm. Why would they do that? They want you to be here and you paid to be here. Why would they do that? Have they ever given you beef? Surely not since you pack up after yourself and are 
not a nuisance. No, we've never been given beef. How far is in advance can you book? You could just go on their website and look and see what availability they have. Like if you wanted to go a certain time of the year for the summer or whatever, try to give as much notice as you want to look to get them because a lot of people come in the summertime and holidays. A lot of people bring their families to state parks. So girl, I'm trying to get comfortable and See, I could be like this. Hold on. But then I still need to read them comments. Let me see. Oh, Lord. This thing is mosquitoes.